A show that's dedicated to educate, uplift, and connect all black people living abroad through a Haitian point of view. That's me. So, let's get started. Our guest for today is Jacqueline Constant, or Jacqueline Constant. And uh, Jacqueline is in charge of the Hades International Film Festival here in Los Angeles. And pretty much, I'd like to just say, the whole world. So anywhere there's a Hades International Film Festival going on, Jacqueline is the guy to go to. He is also currently teaching at um, uh, Pasadena City College for film. And uh, he does have a mentorship program that he does with the uh, uh, tech community down in Haiti with film and the young kids. And we just wanted to sit down and have a wonderful conversation with him and just pick his brain a little bit. And uh, without further ado, here he is, Jacqueline Constant. How you doing, buddy? I'm doing good, man. I'm doing great. <laughs> so good to have you here on the show today. Um, you know, just to get started, how about you tell us, you know, a little bit, something small about yourself, who you are, and your connection to Haiti, and uh, what you do. Man, my, my, my connection to Haiti started with... Um, you know, having a Haitian immigrant mom who was just very prideful about her culture and was always have like Haitian artifacts, music, food. Nice. So, and she always was um, groomed me in a sense to show a positive side of Haiti. Mm. And just see her being so proud and, you know, uh, a fly Haitian woman um, who was very ambitious, you know, um, started her own business. Um, she, my mom was a psychic. My um, grandmother, um, when she first came to America, so like Haitian food out of her basement. So I think like Haitian culture uh, in Brooklyn, you know, and going, you know, living in Miami in like Haitian communities, you know, then actually moving to Los Angeles and kind of having to explain myself. Like people didn't know what a Haitian was myself a lot of times. Gotcha. So, so then you basically, then what you're saying is you grew up in the Bronx, right? And to a Haitian family. Oh, oh what was yeah. that? Brooklyn. You grew up in Brooklyn. Okay, so that's good. Yeah. Grew up in Brooklyn, moved to Los Angeles. Does it am I am I hearing this correctly or was your mom a single mom raising you? Yeah, she was a single mom. Oh. Yeah. So, well, how yeah. I mean, how was that? I mean, you know, I mean, for me, my experience in the Haitian community is that, you know, I don't see a lot of single moms where other people might say, you know, how was that experience? Uh, for you growing up with a single mom in America, being Haitian, having to work so hard. So it's kind of like doing two worlds, right? African-American world in the Haitian world. How does that work? For me, it was like since we left New York so early with six and I, yeah, it was a track. Well, my mom left for like a used relationship in, in Haiti, in, in Brooklyn, and mm -hmm. she moved all the way to California. Oh. So I think it was just like, for me, it was like, um, yeah, she fought for her independence. She did something very hard, you know what I mean? And just left, you know, mm. left everything that she knew in Brooklyn. Mm. And she, and she kind of started a new life and um, sent for us, you know, sent us down to Miami to live with our grandmother mm -hmm. for a year. Then she was able to raise enough money to send, you know, send for me and my three, me and my two sisters, mm. you know? So mm -hmm. I think just seeing her doing that, just like, you know, we knew that wasn't an easy decision for her. Gotcha. For her to leave her marriage, yeah. you know, and for her to, but I think since there was uh, some abuse that she was like, I was not going to live my life this way. And she was, I cared more for my kids than just to stay in this, this marriage. Yeah, that's the thing about Haitian women, though. Um, Haitian women, they're just, you know, we just got to support them. They're so strong. But with that, Jacqueline, so yeah, tell us about the Haiti International Film Festival. How is that going? And, you know, how has COVID um, impacted, you know, Haiti's International Film Festival? Um, I would say, like, after, I mean, with, with the whole experience with, with COVID, it is it's forced us to be more innovative. It forces mm. us to go virtual. So mm. that was a good experience in... in we want to show a positive, our mission of the organization, to show a positive image of Haiti through film and art. Mm -hmm. So um, it just made us think, how can we offer, how can we offer, um, 
Hey, give me a second on that one, dude. Um, you know, basically, how could we offer the community something positive? How could we challenge ourselves with programming? And we're able to do that. You know, we mm-hmm. Jimmy John Louis so to the Film Face Festival uh, for the fifth annual Jime in. He had, you know, he had his film there. So we got to get, we we, we um, had two panels, one on business and other, uh, another one on the Haitian creatives, Gene Ellie. Um, he showed up to one of the panels, so Michelle Stevenson. So we just want to show that our community is thriving. Yes. And I think from working in the industry, um, I started as, as a production assistant, you know. So I got to see all these Haitians that were working behind the scenes, but nobody knew them Mm -hmm. so i think with the film festival it gave me a chance to like it's a great community it's a great community community. yeah Yeah. i wanted to ask you also now you said something that was very interesting you said a positive image of haiti through film now for me i would like to know what you mean by that right so if you could answer that question that'd be great because one of the problems that i have or my issues, um, and I guess that I have when when I hear that, it brings up this idea for me that like we're gonna pretend like Haiti doesn't have like you know this. It's not in the situation that it's in now. And so it's like you know the trash or the traffic or you know the infrastructure. But also my thing about that is not to say you know we need to show how it is this way, but like also the beauty behind that are the films that are being shown. And I mean, from your point of view, you know, showing Haiti, uh, you know, images of Haiti, positive images of Haiti through film, are we showing all of Haiti and all of the beauty and all the different aspects of it? Yes, um, we're definitely showing it. Um, there is, I think a lot of times, um, people don't really do the research. Yes, at and all. It shows the community a very limited viewpoint, I feel. And I think, because like being raised in Hollywood, do we show the homeless? No. <laughs> Do we show the like the bad things about it? But people come here every year. Yes. You know, you, only, so, you know, there's a lot of things in a lot of cities that I've been to. They don't show that part of the city. That's no. not how they market the, no. to the world. And I no. think um, Haitians, in a sense, of even the Haitian diaspora, been socialized to just show the um, the negative of the and and I think there's people doing great work, but we don't hear about them. Yeah, I get so excited when I talk to you because everything you say brings up all these different little um, images and ideas. I just realized in talking, we have a problem here, or there's a, a people. Yeah, we have a problem in American society where we're saying there's not enough black stories being told. There's not enough black stories being told, right? And um, we need more black writers, more black content, more black this, more black that. And I just I just thought of myself. Wait a second. Also, the part of the reason could be, let me know if I'm wrong, part of the reason could be that all of our experiences and how we're looking at it, we're looking at it from the African-American point of view also. Now, if we were to add the African-American point of view, the Haitian, the Jamaican, the black British person, the African person, we'd have more materials and more things to write about, be more an inclusive and open world, wouldn't you say? And we can kind of get rid of that problem a little bit, or am I too naive? Because if I am, which is very possible, let me know. I think when you look at the more independent and most black um, filmmakers are gonna, they make those choices, right? They make those choices, tell the story of their community, if it's Haitian, if it's UK. So I think once we start looking at different stuff and through streaming, you see a lot more different content. And that's one of the things that we're working on right now to, to have a streaming platform for, uh, the Haiti International Film Festival, so people could see like this rich slice of life, you know what I mean, from somebody who may live in a Haitian middle class area to maybe, you know, may, uh, uh, every may not have the same resources to maybe, they are some fluent Haitians, or they're different Haitians living in the diaspora. I think just seeing stories from the African diaspora, it opens you up. Then you realize there's so much more. Mm-hmm. I think it's because we're only looking at mainstream and yeah. what the one or two they allow. Mm-hmm. They allow to show. The one Denzel, the one H, and we're like, oh, that's the whole experience. No, there's a lot of other artists, and that's what we, we mostly show, all those independent artists that may not have that shine. And I think that's what most black film festivals do. They show you, I mean, the Pan-African shows 170 films a year. Oof. 
OK? Mes amis, Los Angeles. Jésus, mon Dieu! <laughs> right. So, you know what I mean? A lot of those films, the filmmakers, the Haitian filmmakers, I meet them. Yeah. You know, they're in L.A. So then I have those films that are, you know, at our film festivals or do the film festival circuit. I think because a lot of us are not looking in the traditional, the untraditional places, the film festivals. But when once you're out there, there's a lot of stuff. There's a film that's hot right now, South by Southwest. There's filmmakers who are winning in Ghana. Yeah. Have one who has this film there. So there's materials out there. It's just not marketed all together. That's what we do with the film festival. Like, look, gotcha. these films have been all over the world. But now you get to see it all in the context and you get to have these conversations. And I wanted it not to be like, oh, you only talk for like 10 minutes. I wanted to have those 20 minute conversations. Yeah, yeah. So um, it makes an impact on people. And now people are like, I want to submit to the film festival instead of just, oh, it's been my film festival circuit run and I happen to put it in the film festival. So uh, we've been making an impact in that. So. Nice. You know what I mean? For somebody to reach out to us from, you know, from Haiti, who's a prominent filmmaker, it's like, we want our film in your film festival. Because nice. we've been reaching out, but it was just getting that, you know, the credibility. Yeah. Doing it year after year and showing them quality. And now, yeah. you know, on both, on the, um, the, the Haitian diaspora, I'll say New York, Miami, New York, um, LA, definitely. Yeah. Chicago, get too. Lots of yeah. Like, but you know what, though, I'm going to say, you have our support here, over here at yeah. Anupali and Munlakai. We, we, I mean, you have our support. I went to ask about Pasadena College. How long have you been teaching at Pasadena College? And does it interrupt with the film festival when it's in session? No, because I have it right before the school starts. The last week, uh, two weeks before the school. So, I mean, I teach there you know, throughout the year, but it gives me like, I'm educating, I'm learning new things. So those things end up in the film festival because mm -hmm. I, I get to try things, you know, mm -hmm. with, with my students. And I think um, just educating them is like, it, that's why I started the mentorship program because I don't have a lot of Haitian students. Ah, the, the mentorship, mentorship program. program. Now, now you're gonna, after you answer this, you gotta tell us about the mentorship program. Okay. <laughs> so, um, yeah, the mentorship program is a month long, program where Haitian mentors get to, you know, advise an, an emerging filmmaker. So that's, um, we, they meet for, for like a month, once a week, and they get to ask some questions. Cause I know those are the things, this is a relationship based business. Mm -hmm. I learned from other Caribbean filmmakers, this is how you should pitch. They would show me their reels. Like those things helped me so much that I don't think I would get you know, um, and maybe if I didn't have that network with that filmmaker. So I know that works, that worked a lot for me, um, having mentors. So I think now we have the knowledge and experience. Maybe there was a time where we could say that was impossible, but now I think, you know, some, you know, Haitians and Haitian America has been in the industry 20, 30 years or yeah. more. So I think, um, you know, if you have those resources, why, why don't you want to help your community? Yeah, the, when is when is the mentorship starting and when does it end? Is it all year round? How does it work? I've never done no, a no, mentorship. It's month. Yeah, um, so so we're actually the the deadline's supposed to close, but we're gonna extend it like March, I think uh, March twelfth, and it goes for a month to April. Then we give a month for them to make to uh, make their sh our short film about what does um, Flag Day mean to them. Mm, which so, flag? Day? Haitian Flag Day. Haitian flag day. Okay. So uh, you're here in the diaspora in Haiti, like, what does it mean to you? Yeah. You know? Um, so we just want to show that because I think we see all the big flag day celebrations. But for us as filmmakers and storytellers, we just want to, um, you know, have people just tell their different perspective of what flag day means for them. Yeah, and where can um, we find this information about the mentorship? Uh, is it on the website? Is it on your Instagram? Where is it? It's 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 uh, it's on my um, Facebook, the the Haiti International Facebook page, and the Haiti um, the Haiti Tech Summit. They they put it on their page, so you definitely find it on our LinkedIn. You find it on our Facebook. Yeah. So that's where, um, yeah, we, that's what we've been getting. Um, 
all the submissions and stuff. What about now the Tech Summit? Can you tell me a little bit about that and how you're involved with that? Because a lot of people think that the Tech Summit stopped because of uh, pay block and, um, and other no, things. I was there. When the pay was blocked, I would, actually me and another pilot, Haitian Jay Lamont, who's been going for the last three years, I went last year for the first time, or the year before that, like 2019. And, um, and man, it's great. Like, you get to meet, you know, like Jack Dorsey shows up, you know, from Twitter, and just like meet the who's who and Haitian business to entrepreneurship and entrepreneur. People could come from San Francisco, LA, Miami, New York. So just seeing all these like change makers, mm -hmm. I think is very inspiring, mm -hmm. you know, and just like you're able to meet diplomats. Yeah. And um, yeah, it really just made me, I think on that, like seeing yourself on a global level. And um, yeah, they, Christina, Tim and Einstein and Tim, um, husband and wife, you know, who are just like the, 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 I would say for the for the African DAS and tech space, they use their resources that they they worked in the tech industry for years to make it for emerging markets like Haiti, Latin America, and Africa. So that's what I'm seeing, like using your education and resources, but having it benefited, translate it to, I mean, what Basquiat did with his art, translate it for your community. You know, like you can get these big ideas but how does that translate to the Haitian community? Yeah. How does that translate, yeah. Like, yeah. you know, um, yeah, you want to make these hundred million dollar films, but like, how is that going to be impactful to, you know, to my community? To I'm so glad you said that. Companies? I'm so uh, glad you, know, you said that. That makes sense. You know, that, yeah, yeah, people need to start thinking about the logistics of it all. Now you said something very interesting. You said, you know, husbands and wives. What about you? What about your significant other? What can you tell us? Can you share a little yeah. bit for us? You know, yeah, she's helped. She's um, she's one of the directors for for, for the film festivals, nice. and just like all the flyers you see design, she does all the design, and um, yeah, like she's my partner. Nice. You know what I mean? And yeah, and I I, I couldn't this film festival as much as it has my handprints on it, it has, has her, it. you know, creativity and just like you know she, she's more. Uh, a business, you know, a business person. Yeah. So like for her, she's, you know, she's always making sure like, are you making a profit? Are you, <laughs> you know, me, I'll just go and- And do it with your heart, it, huh? It, but you know what they say, like- <laughs> <laughs> Behind every yes. Haitian man, there's a uh, powerful woman right there just supporting exactly. him, making sure he makes the right decision. But you know what, Jackie? Well, coming up to the best part of the show for me, actually, it is your favorite Creole word of the day. Now, I'm going to talk just a little bit longer, so start thinking about your favorite Creole word, your favorite Haitian Creole word that you absolutely love and you want to show it to the audience. Uh, what is it? Nula. 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 Explain. Nula. Like, we're here. Mm. You know, that's my... Okay. I like yeah, that. Nula. That's my thing. Nula. Nula in 2021. Nula forever till the end of time. Nula if you're not comfy. That's it. We are here. Not comfy. That's right. Nula toujours. Nula toujours not comfy. Jacques, I just wanted to say thank you so much for coming in and having this conversation with us. Uh, to close off, is there anything else that we forgot to ask you that you'd like to share that's absolutely, you know, important that you want everyone to know? Please go ahead and do so. Yeah, I want, uh, please ap apply for the Haitian Filmmakers Mentorship Program as a mentor and as a mentee. So, um, and I think for us who worked in the industry, it's a blessing to be able to pass that information on to somebody. And I've had like interns that I've been able to do that and I've seen how that's been able I got told one intern, like, what I'm going to tell you is going to accelerate 10 years. Mm. And to see them take that information and run with it, one of our interns, Roy, now he goes to UC Irvine and other, just from our film festival, I was like, whoa, it's, it's, a, it's an amazing experience yeah. Yeah. to be able to hand some of your knowledge yeah. to the next generation yeah. and see what they do with it. They take it to different heights. Mm. So, yeah, I just want us to be able to share that information nice. with each other. So nice. if we could do that and submit to the film festival, um, 
You go to our website, HaitiInternationalFilmFestival.org to find out more about us. And, you know, we're on, we're on Facebook, Haiti International Film Festival. We're on LinkedIn. We're on Instagram. So if you need to reach us, um, just, just, just connect with us online. Perfect. And, um, perfect, perfect. Well, I want to say, Nula, Lila, Nula. But for real though, you guys, if you really, um, um, after watching this, please, please, please go and apply for the mentorship. It is very important. I wish uh, when I was a little bit younger that I had some mentors, um, you know, through for film, TV and whatnot. But I think what he's offering is an amazing opportunity to learn and to really just submit your films and be part of this mentorship. Uh, mentorship. And also, if you want to also donate your time, you know, and you know, internships uh, with um, Hades International Film Festival, I think would be great. Um, I love talking to Jaquille. I think you're amazing. And, um, you know, first time I met you was at Haitian Flag Day. And um, I can't wait to just keep bringing you back to have these conversations with you to see where you're taking, you know, Haiti and Haiti International Film Festival. On behalf of Moon Lakai, Anupale, and every Haitian all around the world, all black people living abroad, we love you, brother. Thank you so much. And have a great day. Yeah. Thank you, man.